Okay. Three, two, one. He came over to my house. What happened? So it all started when Tommy texted over and said, Hey, want to come to my house and sure. hang out? Sure. I'll be there in 15 minutes. Cool. So then Did I got you, on my butt. Are you doing I like doing, hand actions? I was doing the hand Is this like a puppet show? No, this is a texting. Apparently this is how I text. Anyways, so I got on my bike and I started going. And then I was riding on the sidewalk and I fell off and I scraped my arm really good. And I'm just chilling out at my house thinking. He's late. He's not coming. I'm not somebody who's generally late. Early no, is on late. time. Yeah. You're like my sister. My sister needs to be early, early for everything. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Continuing on. So I scraped myself and then heroically I biked one armed well trying to apply pressure. It was really hard. And I show up at his house and I say Oh wait, I said it. Tommy, I'm bleeding. He said, "Okay, yeah, go to the back yard and put your bike there." So he made safe. me crippled carry my bike one-handed. I, I opened the gate for you. That's because I couldn't figure it out. Yeah. See, I'm a good friend. I opened. I know. So then. Tough challenges. So I healed him. I know. With my doctor. Expertise. When I first showed up, I thought I was going to, like, wipe it, wipe it off with wet, wet paper towel, then put another one on and just tape it. No, no. In my house, see, if you're injured, we have, like, we got gauze pads, we got surgical tape, we have disinfectants. You wouldn't let me pour hydrogen peroxide on your arm, because you're a wimp. Accurate. Yeah. I didn't want to get hurt. It was enough pain. I thought if we just wipe it off really good, we put polysporin on, which is probably why it's not infected. See, I know these things. I'm, which is actually pretty funny because I don't want to have anything to do with being a doctor when I'm older. I almost I, hated so. That I cuts hate, doctor off. The I list. hate doctors. Harsh. Except for eye doctors, they're the best. But I yeah, to so I've I've been waiting for two weeks to tell this story. I forgot how long it was. Two weeks. That's pretty good. Fingers. Yeah. Two years. Yeah. Two of yeah, two weeks uh-huh. to tell the story of. His idiosity. Harsh. Is that a word? No. Idiosity? No. Oh, it's a word no, now. No, it applies Put to that me. in the dictionary. No and thanks. And then... And, that and my heroism, because I saved his life. I biked one-handed for, like, uh, it's a 5k bike ride. I could have... I could have freaked out, called somebody to come over, oh. and let you bleed out. Three and a half kilometers one-handed, up and down a hill. So? Can you do that? One-handed? No. Well, of course I not. I know. So that was fun. And that then fun. I'm so good at patience that I haven't let it heal. If there's gonna be pictures. I'm sure there'll be one. Beep 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 beep. And so I didn't. I picked at it and I fell on it. But now it's better. Oh good. Mm-hmm. Like most things should be. Good. And why was it, Tommy, that we had to wait two weeks? Because the first week. So the week before last. Yeah. I was away at my grandma's house, and then the week after that, where were you? Oh, uh, the week after that, I was at Camp Caroline, cooking in the kitchen. Mayo. Did anything exciting happen while you were at your grandma's? Well, there were two opportunities where I could have died. Wow, you're very to the point. Of course. What, am I going to say, well, there were these two times when things happened sort of. and I could have like sort maybe, maybe. there's a small chance I could have ended up pretty badly no, just right out I could have died I could have died I probably am dead I'm a ghost That's most right. people know that two very deadly things in any house are fire <laughs> fire is deadly anywhere and then carbon monoxide which is less common but it'll kill you in about an hour maybe a day if you have a carbon Sometimes monoxide that leak. Time's bad. Yeah, so obviously you get a carbon monoxide detector. He doesn't even have one. I maybe we do and I just don't know where it is. That's more likely. It'll we'll find it. No on a won't. treasure hunt. It's not here. Yay. There's no carbon monoxide detector. But so I'm but at my grandma's are. and we hear this beeping. We're like, what is that beeping? This is the beeping dance, like, not the beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. 
beep. So beep, my beep, beep. Oh, sorry. Were we done with that? Yeah, we're done with the beeping. So my sister, being the freaking out person in smart our family, one. no, not the smart, smart one. one. She runs outside and yells, "It's a carbon monoxide detector!" I Did think. Like that oh that dang, good. we're gonna die. And so I run to the hallway where I know where the detector is. And sure enough, there's a light flashing and the beeping's coming from it. But the light's flashing next to some words that say, get to fresh air immediately. A-S-A-P. No, it doesn't say ASAP. ASAP. If it did, that'd be cool. I'm going to write ASAP on it. But I tell my grandma what it is and she says, Uh, unplug it and put it on the floor. What I thought it was on was on the floor. No, it's plugged into the wall. And you take it out of the wall and you put it on the floor. Oh, it's just a little thing. Yeah. When you said it was plugged into the wall, I thought it was like a furnace. No. You put it on the wall. I was like, how big is this thing? Do you like trip on it when you're walking in the middle of the oh. night? Or just like this furnace sitting there, like this big box that's plugged no, into it the just, wall. There's, like, like, there's a little green light on it that is on. You just touched oh. the mic. Sorry, Mike. He's not okay with it. Maybe it's a she. No, it's a he. Maybe I'll call him later and apologize. And so, yeah, she says, and then she says, this happens all the time. Don't worry about it. On another note, my dog's just chased after a runner. They're against exercise. <laughs> I saw the runner. I know. He looked weak. Okay, so Taking you had a carbon dogs. monoxide detector going yeah, off, and which then- is apparently a small device. It's like this big It's around. taken us three times it's to get to this detail. This I thought it was like around. a big box. I can't believe that you could hide that. it. You could hide it. You're, you're small enough. Thanks. I know. Yeah. I'm special. You short. But Only sort of. I should sit up straight now. Whatever. Then your head's going to come out of the frame. But anyways, then my grandma also was baking potatoes. This might have been the exact same day. I don't even know. But... She left the tinfoil on one of the potatoes when she put it in the microwave. Henceforth, oh started a fire. That is Henceforth, not one of the uses for aluminum foil. No, don't put it in the microwave, children. No. It will light on fire, blow up the microwave, why. kill you. Something in the metal. That's why you don't put like metal in the microwave either. Well, also because it gets hot and you touch it and then it's like, ah. Yeah, but aluminum foil gets hot enough. And, yeah. Which makes sense. And so I had two science. somewhat near death experiences. Cool. Didn't really change me. No biggie. Nope. <laughs> so fun. what happened when you were at Camp Carolina? Camp Carolina. Do they have a jingle? <laughs> they do. Oh, it's a pretty nice. good jingle. You're going to look it up now. Anyways, it was fun. So I was like in the kitchen volunteering with my dad, which was a lot of fun because I got to hang out with him. Hashtag egg traffic. Just ignore that. That was there. And so, and the one thing specifically I was in charge of was condiments. And Mayo. condiments for 300 people is a big and Ketchup. sticky job. Mustard. There was a lot of Mayo. thick consistency Syrup. condiments, and it was not, Mayo. it was a lot of work. But it was not a fun time anyways. Mayo. I did other things like not burn myself, not cut myself. Not get killed by carbon monoxide leak no that would have been distressing where does carbon monoxide come from? I think it was from it's like gas. your furnace I don't know maybe your furnace doesn't have carbon monoxide which means we don't have a carbon monoxide detector anyways we're not scientists we pretend to be Get a lot so that's what happened <laughs> I had fun yeah that was about it that's the reason we did this video yeah do you have anything you want to plug not a carbon monoxide detector. I know. It was a great joke. Great. I think this video can be done now because of Flat that Cap Studios, thing. watch it. New video coming out. You can get excited. It's stop motion. And there's music. There might be. If I have time. Do you have anything you want to plug in? No. That sounds weird. It'll be in the description. It's odd. Thanks for watching. Bye. Farewell. Au revoir. And don't get allergic to Minecraft.